All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to mine bismuth coin. Here it is on coin market cap. I'll put a link below the video for the website and stuff and uh, also for the Discord so people can join the Discord and chat with the developer uh, the guy that runs the pool and stuff. There used to be another pool but uh, it seems like it hasn't been running recently. I don't know if they're going to keep running it or not but this one works very good. There's also solo miners out there and if anybody has uh, information or if anybody knows how to set up a pool and things and stuff like that, you can message me on Discord. My name is Aitzen on there. I have the uh, I have open source files that I can send somebody for the Python miner that you can set up your own miner with your own pool and stuff. And then there's also another open source miner that the developers and stuff have released. And uh, but this is how to mine when using the miner for the pool here eggpool.net here's the requirements and stuff and things for Linux miner which you can download right here and the windows is up here I'm gonna be showing you for windows because that's the systems I use basically you just download it right there he usually updates it pretty often though when he has a new one that comes out that is uh, release quality that's not a test version once you download it, you go over here and you go edit the batch file. And then up here is the name of the miner. Dash A is for address. You'll put in your bismuth address. You'll need the wallet to get an address. If anybody needs help with getting a wallet set up, you can join us in Discord. Or if uh, people seriously can't figure it out, I can record another video later on and show you guys how to set up and use the wallet. It's pretty simple. Over here you have dash in, that's the name of your worker. You put in whatever you want the name of your worker to be. Dash I is for intensity. For AMD you can leave this off. For NVIDIA it's best to set it to 50. Dash V is for verbose. To show more information in the miner. You can run it with it or without. If you want it on just put dash V. And uh, currently NVIDIA cards are better than the AMD for mining bismuth. This one's a SHA-224 algorithm. But uh, currently, with the miner, the way it's set up now with the optimization stuff, the NVIDIA is better right now. If somebody in the future might come along and be able to take one of the open source miners and make a better miner for AMD, but as of right now, that's not the case. Uh, right now, an RX 580 is getting about 700 mega hash a second or so. A 1070 is getting 1,000 mega hash a second. A 1070 Ti is getting about 1200 mega hash a second, and a 1080 Ti is getting about 1900 mega hash a second. Now mine won't look that much when I open it. I'm running two 1080 Ti's, but it won't look like as much because right now I have SLI turned on. So once you open it up, it does seem kind of laggy, like uh, it still uses quite a bit of CPU, which that might be fixed over time. So it does get kind of laggy with the miner and stuff, but that's just normal. But like I said right now, normally 1080 Ti will get about 1900 mega hash a second. And mine's going to run a little bit lower than that. Probably It'll probably show that it runs a little bit lower. Because I have SLI on right now, which I normally don't have it on when I'm mining. Up here you have the name of the miner, how many devices are found. The name of the device is intensity. The name of your rig, the address you're mining for. And if you have verbos, tur verbos turned on or not. And then down here, it shows that it's connect working. It's approved uh, to connect to the server. Block information is received. Set up the thread for the two GPUs. And once it first starts mining, like most of the time, it uh, won't show the exact information right away. It'll take a second, and then it'll start showing you your, your actual hash rates. But like I said, mine's not exactly accurate right now because I have SLI turned on. And then down here you have the number of shares per minute at diff 81, and you'll have the shares per minute at diff 94. The shares per minute at diff 94 is what you want to pay attention to, because that's what actually matters. The set pool diff is 94 right now, and these could all change over time, but right now it's uh, set to 94, and that'll help you know 
how well your system's doing and stuff, how many shares you're getting per minute, so you can calculate how many you're making per hour, how many per day, to know your profit ratio and all that stuff. But if anybody needs any help, just look below and I'll include the information for the Discord and the website and stuff like that.